Yo YouTube, what's going on? Just like the title says, today I'm going to show you how to make an AFK coal encircling, for, for, coal encircling core farm. To do this, you're going to need to be in the swamp area, so you're going to have to be able, you're going to have to already defeat the second boss and be geared up enough to be in the swamp area. And you're going to need to find one of these things right here. These uh, little fire geysers right here. What they do is they spawn what's called a certling, and a certling, whenever it dies, it drops coal and certling cores. Now they're really re they're really weak to water, and water kills them. So once you find one of these, what you want to do is dig around it like a trench all the way around it, right? Make sure you leave the center in there where the fire geyser is. You don't want to dig any of that out, but dig around it in like a square, or circle, whatever. So what happens is the certlings will spawn up here and they'll slide down the rock and they'll get into the water and they end up killing themselves because they can't live in the water. The water damages them. Now, you can do this without the whole AFK part. You can set this up and then just every time you're running by, the ads will spawn in and you can run by and get the stuff. But the ads will only spawn in if you are in the area. So they won't continually spawn in, they're only going to spawn in as you're running by. So to make this an AFK farm, you're going to have to have a place you can sit that's nearby. Like I use this tree right here, these big trees. Oh, see, like one just spawned in right now, fell into the water and died. Just like that, right? These big trees right here, enemies can't attack them. They can't do any damage to them. You can't do any damage to them either. They can't be chopped down. Nothing. Okay, so if you get lucky enough to find a couple of these big trees near one of these, you want to build a fort up top of it, a little tree house. Doesn't have to be much. Just build a little tree house. This is what I did. If I don't jump off the edge there, that'd be great. I just built a little tree house here, and I completely enclosed it in. All right. I enclose it in that way, like if you're just sitting up here on a piece of platform and there's a skeleton with a bow or a drawer with a bow out there, he's going to be able to shoot you or the platform while you're not, while you're AFK and you're going to die, right? So make sure you build a little hut, enclosed in, put a roof over it. I got a workbench up here, but you really don't need a workbench up here. And I got a chest up here just in case you pick up too much stuff and you can't carry it all back to your base whenever you come back. I put a door here as well to make sure it's completely locked in. So what I would do is I just come in here, take a seat, and I just chill, go AFK, go watch a, go watch a movie, you know, go watch a movie, get something to eat, give the wife a little pickle tickle, you know, what do we need to do? And when you come back, you'll have that, all that coal, all that circling core, everything. As you can see here, guys. Uh, I actually have a foul smell from the swamp coming in that I don't know why it spawned here because I don't have a bed or a fireplace but it did spawn here and these guys can't even come up here and attack me they're just kind of wandering around they're not attacking none of my stuff they can't get to me up here so you kind of definitely want to build in a tree um, yeah I don't, I don't understand why I have this because this is not my home base like I said, I don't have a bed. The only thing I have is a workstation and a chest. So I don't understand why this happened. I thought you had to have a fireplace, a bed, and a, uh, a uh, workstation for it to happen. But apparently not. Apparently all you need is a workstation. Now the way to do this, like I said, you have to be in the area for them to spawn. So I'm in the area, so they're spawning in. The other thing you'll notice all the stuff on the ground well if you're going to be afk for a while after so long items that are on the ground they will despawn all right if they're not in a workbench area i don't know how many days like three days or something like that but they will despawn and you won't be able to pick them up so if you're going to make this completely afk farm you have to have workbenches around and what i did is i did like a north south east and west I did little workbenches. And all I did is I placed the workbench on the ground, I raised the ground up to place it, and then I completely enclosed it in a box so that any enemy walking by, if they're walking by, doesn't see the workbench and 
run straight to it and start attacking it because they will do that. So I just enclosed it in a box. And I got one on each side, like I said, north, south, east, and west. One over there, and I got one in the trees right there. Now, whenever you're laying these out, you're going to want to make sure you see the, the white line there. I don't want that white line up here. I want it to just the edge of that right there so that whenever whenever they spawn because they won't spawn within a workbench area right so any, anywhere you see here they won't spawn where my workbench area is so you want to go around and try to get it as close as you can to the edge of that rock you don't want to get it all the way up there because they won't have any room to spawn so like I said, you see some gaps in mine where some uh, stuff is going to despawn, but for the most part, most of it's all caught. You know what I mean? Like there's a gap right there. There's a gap over here. That's a pretty big gap right there, but... There's a gap over here. But, yes, you want to make sure that the workbench area goes right up against that rock. There's actually... This one's coming from the workbench that's up there. Like, if I come closer down here, that's the other workbench there, so the gap's not as big as it looks. But as long as the items are within a workbench radius, they won't despawn. So you want to make sure you get it as close as you can to the edge of that rock, and then uh, they should all be there whenever you come back. Now, these, these certlings, they spawn every five minutes. Every five minutes they'll spawn in. So, you don't have to go AFK very long. I mean, it's not a fast process, but you know, if you go, like I said, and have dinner, watch a movie or something, you go a couple hours, come back, you're gonna have a ton of a ton of coal and a ton of uh, certainly course waiting on you whenever you get back. Like I've been, technically I've been AFK for 45 minutes now. I had a timer on it and I haven't seen how much I've gotten yet. I don't have any in my inventory. Let's go ahead and pick all these up and see what we get. Oh, and one just spawned in on us. I did say it was 45 minutes, so right at the five minute mark. All right, let's see what we got here. We've gotten 72 coal and nine certain cores just for going afk for 45 minutes going and watching a video getting some dinner like i said all you gotta do is you gotta build a little tree house up out of the way make sure it's on one of these big trees that can't be knocked down just sitting there so nothing can attack you make sure there's a roof on us so wraiths can't attack you and yeah man get you some coal all right guys that's gonna be all for today if you found the video helpful, make sure you leave a like and drop me a sub. Also, we are doing a Valheim playthrough. If you haven't seen that yet, go and check that out in the playlist. And uh, yeah, man, we'll catch you guys next time.